So we had a very busy morning when it came to those showers and some winds today. And this is because we have this low pressure system still in our area and it still hasn't moved out much. We saw that frontal system has finally moved out of our area, but there's still some rain wrapping around this system that could be moving here into the night. With that frontal system moving in, it brought temperatures down into the 50s, but not too bad. We said in the 50s around this time yesterday, so we're still there right now, especially with the cloud cover keeping things pretty warm into the night. We're going to continue to see that as well. But something that we are still keeping and that you saw on there with those winds, wind gusts all the way up to 30 miles an hour right now in Rockford, start to see 23 in Freeport and 22 in Rochelle. We're going to keep these very gusty winds into the night, especially all the way until tomorrow as well. And with our advisories out by the National Weather Service, this is giving you an idea of what we're gonna be dealing with with these winds. Now this advisory is gonna be in effect until 3 p.m. on Tuesday, talking about wind gusts going near 40 to 45 to 50 miles an hour. Now what this is gonna be causing is it could blow around some unsecured objects, make it hard to drive on those north-south roads, so any roads like I-39 or 251 could be difficult driving with these very gusty winds. Some down streets are possible and even power outages, and this is going to be in effect all the way until 3 o'clock tomorrow. Just take a look at why we're starting to see this. It's because we still have these tight isobars in our area causing these very gusty winds, and so when these are very close together, that's when we start to see those winds be this powerful. It's just giving you an idea of how powerful they are. We saw those tightest winds there in Minnesota. Winds up here gusting near 60 miles an hour currently over the night, and that's still going to be possible for them as well. That system is going to try to move its way into our area a little bit tomorrow. You see how these winds are starting to pick up a little bit into the morning, but then slowly die back down as we go into the evening. But then watch this. As we go into Tuesday around 730, that's when another chance starts to gust up, and then we finally get that break as we head into parts of Wednesday morning. Besides what we saw on the winds, here's that rain that we saw on satellite and radar. This rain is going to continue to be twisting into our area and bringing us the chance for rain until parts of the morning. Right now, we're starting to see those clouds just lingering in the area. Not too bad when it comes to coverage, but those clouds are going to be sitting here for a while longer before some of those scattered showers try to pop up early in the morning on Tuesday. And then more are possible after 830 and into the afternoon. Right now, it's showing a lot of cloud coverage getting out of here around 1030 on Tuesday. And that's when we're going to get rid of that shower chance. So overall for tonight, 43 degrees. It's going to be cloudy and windy with some scoured scattered showers late, and then you could notice a few wind chills getting down into the 30s at times as we head into tonight and even tomorrow. Look at this, sitting near 30 degrees for a low temperature almost on tomorrow. So overall, 50 degrees, morning showers, it's going to be cloudy and still windy, and seven day is showing you that we're going to be getting very cold starting on Thursday, sitting around 48 degrees with those lows in the 30s with some 50s approaching us once again on Saturday. Back to you, James and Kristen. Thanks, Tommy. So the